15 years ago today, Hurricane, Hurricane Ike roared into the Houston area, killing more than 100 people in the U.S., causing billions in damage. Meteorologist Pat Cavlin is in Galveston with a look at what's changed since the powerful storm. This week marks the peak of the Atlantic hurricane season, and here in Galveston, they are no stranger to the immense destruction that storm surge can bring as these hurricanes move on shore. In fact, here at Tequilo's restaurant, they've got plaques that indicate every level of storm surge going all the way back to the infamous 1900 hurricane that wiped the city off the map. But as you can see at the top of the list, is Hurricane Ike, which made landfall here 15 years ago today. You know, Ike was a was a different storm for us. Um, basically, the city at that time, uh, you know, even the way they looked at hurricanes was different. Ike changed the whole way we look at hurricanes. We started getting reports about the, the incredible storm surge that this storm was pushing, and uh, that changed everything for how the city was going to react. And it's actually changed how we look at how we do our evacuations now as well. And one of the things we've done post Ike is we have totally fortified most of our infrastructure here on the island. Our water pump stations and our sewer plants, which were completely lost during Hurricane Ike, have now been fortified to Category 5 status. As we mentioned, it was the storm surge that came from the back part of the island that really flooded the island. And that's where this whole concept of the Ike Dike came into play. And so the Ike Dike is a very important project that's being uh, pushed forward by the Army Corps of Engineers, and we're really looking forward to that here at the city. So it's important to realize that Ike was the last significant hurricane to impact Southeast Texas in terms of wind damage and storm surge. So regardless of what the city does to keep you safe, it's still on you to heed the evacuation orders, have a place to go, and have a plan in place to keep you and your family safe. We're reporting tonight from Galveston on the 15th anniversary of Hurricane Ike. I'm meteorologist Pat Cavan. We'll send it back inside to you. We've had so many weather emergencies, weather events here in Southeast yeah. Texas. There's another one. I know, yeah. Ike, and who can forget? I mean, we were all here. We covered, you know, the storm making a landfall, the aftermath of the storm, but it was really the storm surge that's the most memorable part. It just wiped the ball of our peninsula, the homes there sure off the map. Did. In most cases, it was the storm surge. Now, here's how this played out. This is the deal. The shallow coastal waters that sit off the upper Texas coast, they stretch out a good 150 miles from Galveston Bay. There's Galveston, there's the Ballarat Peninsula, there's Galveston Island, there's Houston. Well, that very shallow water helps to magnify storm surge from a landfalling hurricane. So here came Ike with its big counterclockwise rotation. It was only a cat two storm as far as wind speed, 110 miles an hour but it had a surge of cat four, in some cases, cat five. It was this storm that caused us to separate those two forecasts from one another. But again, that surge on the right-hand side, the dirty side of the storm, just pounded the Bolivar Peninsula with a 17 to 20 foot storm surge. That's a rise in sea level elevation. And that's why it just devastated parts of Galveston and the Bolivar Peninsula.